Hello everyone and welcome back to the ninth part tutorial of the beginner guide into Maya. This time uh, we're going to do something a little bit more advanced and I do ask you to be a little bit more patient with whatever I'm doing. Um, I need to find what is the best way in order to uh, teach you and um, of course from this point uh, you basically I think you can already go into any of my tutorials and just follow and listen very carefully on whatever I'm pressing or doing but at this particular um, part of the tutorial we're gonna do something very simple we're gonna start by creating some kind of a human body figure and I don't want you to uh, you know uh, be aware that some of the tools this is the only way for me to introduce them so anyway um, I don't wanna you know categorize uh, each and every part that I'm doing with a name for it uh, I better start and do something and following this introduce some of the tools and that way you will be able to practice this uh, on a simple way so uh, let's begin I'm gonna drop uh, a new cube into my scene and by the way this is a new scene so I always need to go and choose smooth wireframe if I want them to be smoothed and because I created this at the origin uh, without using the interactive creation of course option I can simply come and bring this upwards and create a new cube and bring it a little bit near as here so this uh, this figure here this will serve us as some kind of a torso okay and this here will serve us as some as the head of this uh, human figure okay it's not going to be you know a professional figure of a human body it's just something cubic uh, just like as you can see in Minecraft or whatever something uh, about so okay so uh, with that in mind we have those two on top of each other on the same y-axis on the same position so this is a good start for us and with that in mind, I'm going to grab the head, what should be the head, and here we have this isolation selected, okay, select option. Now, because I'm putting this torso pretty much beneath the head, um, I want to deal with this face over here and start and modify it. But this part over here is a little bit, uh, you know, interfere with this angle whenever I want to work with it, so I'm going to grab the head and isolate it for a while and that way I will be able to work on this so I wanna um, take this face over here and basically shape a neck uh, from it so the way to do this is we're gonna use uh, the extrusion tool so in order to use the extrusion tool we can right click on the shape and choose face this will turn this into edit mode you're gonna grab this face and if you go over the polygon shelf okay here you have this um, icon here and if you put your mouse cursor over it for two seconds it will tell you this is the extrude okay so we're gonna click on it once and what will happen is that addition to the move tool that we used we have now the move tool with scale uh, functionality and a switch over here and also a rotation uh, kind of a you know manipulator so this is a very advanced thing and you need to know how to operate it so as for the neck uh, it will be straightforward we have those cubes here you can see them and here we have this square yellow square okay and what I want I want to be able to grab this face uniformly and shrink it down while it's extruding it so right now it's already been extruded all we need to do is to stretch it or shrink it so I'm gonna tap on one of those cubes it doesn't matter which one but I do want you to pay attention to what's going on here so I'm clicking on this once and it will give me this bluish cube on the center of my axis I'm gonna click hold and drag and you can see that it's starting to create this secondary um, face here 
basically we took the face and shrink it down but it's at the same time created this frame we have here okay so you need to decide how much you want the neck to be thick or thin and leave it as it is now you want to click extrude once again and you want to pull this downwards okay I'm gonna pull this that way and here you go we have a simple neck to our character so with that done um, we can stay satisfied with that but I will tick the unisolate okay this is the same isolate select I'm gonna tick it once again and it will bring back the other cube okay the entire scene basically and I will be able to still yet adjust this so it will be somewhat near to the torso okay now that we have the torso and this is still on edit mode you want to press F8 at least once or twice in order to exit this uh, edit mode or simply right click on select object mode it will turn the wireframes into green this indicate you that we switched off edit mode okay now we have this cube and we have this and we want to connect them so there are a few options whenever you want to connect things but whenever you want something that will be solid uh, unit like one piece unit um, you need to do some more um, you know more steps in order to get this so I will show you exactly what I mean first of all we want to have the same um, neck proportions like here so if it's this is the size of the neck we want to have something on this cube that we will be able to um, you know set as like the connection point for the neck so in order to do this you can also grab this face over here and extrude and bring it that way okay just as we did with the head now it won't be precise but we will be able in some way to do this now I don't want to do this right now in this way okay I want to show you another way on how to do this so control Z once or twice in order to get back this um, to the place where we didn't extrude it yet and I'm gonna uh, switch back to object mode while it's green and hold down the shift key left shift key right click at the same time hold both of them and you will see we have this menu here okay this menu you will be able to choose insert edge loop tool so you have this um, cube here next to each feature and basically this is the option box so there is additional options to each any of those features okay whatever um, you know options that has this cube square or whatever and by default whenever I'm gonna choose insert edge loop tool and because we already resetted Maya so you will be able to add only one edge loop uh, according to whatever you want to place it now I want to place four edge loops on top of this um, cube in order to create the frame where this neck can be connected so I'm gonna use relay on this edge and click hold and drag to position this edge click hold here again and release to make this edge now I need two more in this direction in order to have this squarey neck that we have okay so right now you can see in the middle here we have a cube that almost matches the neck size now because it's not matching we're gonna learn how to precisely match it to it okay so I'm gonna switch here to shading and choose wireframe on shaded it will be easier for me to see the wireframes on objects that aren't selected and I'm gonna switch to selection tool and double click on this edge here it will loop selected because I double clicked it and I'm gonna switch to move tool okay so hit the W key and I wanna make sure that this edge here is exactly where this edge okay is or this edge okay so the way to do this is using the snapping features that we already got introduced to so 
double click on it as I said and you're gonna hold down the V key and you will simply drag this to the right or to the left it will snap and you can see it snaps to different position in our shape but it's not snapping over here okay now what I've done in order for it to snap over here is simply bringing the mouse on to a little bit up to the same direction where <clears throat> the edge that I want to relay on so I basically with very slight move pointed to Maya that I want to relay on edge that is somewhat here okay so you can simply point over here and it will snap here and this is the most accurate way to snap this edge to the same position we're going to do the same with any of those edges that we added so double click on this one hold on the V key move it over here but eventually just point to this edge this now right now okay double click on this one hold down the V key move it point to this edge and it will snap double click on this one hold down the V key and point to this and it will set it them correctly so right now the entire surface here is matched to the neck so now all we have to do is patch them to be one unit and the way to do so is first of all the first step is to get rid of this face okay because this is an intersection point we don't need this face to be there so you select this face press delete and then you switch to this right click choose face and grab this face and if it's uh, you know still interfering with your selection first isolate this and then okay but isolate it while it's in object mode because you can also isolate faces it's not will uh, it won't isolate them permanently but it will uh, isolate them so object mode isolate right click face grab this face and simply delete it okay press F8 and unisolate this now all we have to do is to connect them so there are a few ways to do so I'm gonna show you the easiest way right now you're gonna select both of them first of all and because we want them to react to each other we need to first combine them so you're gonna go over mesh combine and this will make them one unit right now instead of this being white wireframes and this one green they are both green that means that both of them are acting like one unit and all you need to do here is you're gonna go over mesh tools by the way if you don't see this menus you need to be on polygons okay so mesh tools and down here you will see the merge vertex tool you click on it once your mouse cursor will turn into cross something like that and the entire shape will turn into edit mode okay on vertices mode basically so you want to get closer with your camera here and you want to decide which part are you going to stretch and where exactly at okay so I'm gonna stretch the neck to the torso not um, you know not the torso to the neck so I'm gonna click on this vertex click hold and drag and point to this vertex here and release this will stretch the neck to the torso <clears throat> now because we started that way we need to continue the same way so again the first point will be the neck point point to this point and release left mouse button click hold point and release and again here and then right click object mode or F8 to switch off to object mode right now it's not in object mode it's just simply didn't select it okay but as you can see right now there is a problem we are still using our mouse cursor is um, showing us as it was still on merge vertex tool in order to snap out of this tool you will be needed to click on the selection tool and then select your uh, object once again so right now um, it's our shape it's really 
uh, one unit and it's solid one unit okay and although we combine them uh, right now they are really patched and not just combined now the thing with combining things is that you can uh, also um, you know change it I mean it's you, you can uh, separate them but after they've been patched in this way so you can't really separate them so I'm gonna show you this we have this one and we have another cube that I will create and I'm gonna grab them and choose mesh combine right now if I select this one this one will be selected as well and if I'm gonna move them they will move according and with those these are acting the same there are two units that have been patched but whenever we use the merge vertex tool we also merge them and combine them like uh, we like welded those vertices into each other of both parts here both of them combined but they are not welded so because they are not welded you can come and go over mesh and separate those two and now there are two individual objects with this one you can't really come and choose separate see you get an error okay so this is because we already patched those vertices into each other and from now on this thing will always remain one unit okay unless you do some modification to it that will change this anyway this is just a little bit we can delete those two and we're gonna save this as it is file save scene as I already have one file that I named as human so I'm gonna name it human2 um, it was part of uh, you know experiment that I done so we're gonna save this as human2 and you can see it saves it exactly in the same folder we set it at the first part so save as and that's all for this part. Thank you for watching. We will continue at the next part. See ya.